financially, you've done it right all your life. You've paid your bills, you paid your taxes, you've saved and invested for the future, and you've done well. But market dips have done some damage, and lately, you have your doubts about our government's policies. How will you maintain your lifestyle, your health, and your personal freedoms that you cherish? Welcome to Wealth Guardians with Doug Ray, where it's all about the health, wealth, and freedom you need to live life your way all the way. Stand by for strategies you can use to turn your retirement dreams into reality. Now, here's the host of Wealth Guardians, Doug Ray. Well, welcome aboard. This is the Wealth Guardian Show, and you're on 94.5 WPTI, the Piedmont's News Talk and Sports Station. I'm going to jump right into today's show because, my gosh, we are well into April already, and we have to talk about some things that are very time critical. But, you know, first I've got to pay respects to our service members who are um, on active duty and also our veterans. I always do that. I like to do that, and I think it's important. So thank you, folks, for for your courage and also for your your time and, and your sacrifices. We so appreciate you. Well, <clears throat> today's show is going to be completely solely dedicated to everybody who is 66 and older and have not taken their Social Security benefits. Your time is nigh. I've been talking about this for a long time now, but we are in crunch time. I know there's a bunch of you out there that have not explored this opportunity. You have until April the 29th to take action. We're going to explore some of these actionable ideas in this show today. But if you're 66 and older, please listen to today's show in its entirety, if you can. The cost here to you could be tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, literally. Now, to get started, I'm going to give you some case studies later in the show. But to get started with some background where all this began... I and KC have been bringing this message to you now for going on four years. I'm pretty sure we were the first financial advisors in the triad to talk about this on on radio. And it all became about because several years ago I had a conversation with a financial advisor, and he had just heard about the ability for folks who are getting their Social Security or about to get their Social Security benefits to do some strategies that would increase those benefits over their lifetime. I investigated them uh, and determined that, oh, man, it really would be an incredible opportunity for retirees to increase their retirement dollars, to make their own retirement assets stretch further into retirement. And literally, Casey and I have helped bring this to the thousands of you's attention. I mean, thousands of you. Um, I'd like to say we've been able to help all these folks. We have not. But we have helped a bunch of people. Unfortunately, with the new budget that was written into law last year, the president saw fit to do away with this incredible benefit. And you have until, as I said, April the 29th. Now, there's another benefit that's open to folks who are 62 years of age and older by the 1st of January this year. It's open till 2019. We have some time there. We don't have much time for you 66-year-olds and up. So that's the one I'm going to focus in on today. And what I'm specifically talking about is for a couple to be able to do a file and suspend strategy with a restricted application. Literally, that means you will be able to get a minimum of $50,000 over your life expectancy. And I've written cases that have had twice that, three times that, four times that, even one case was close to $300,000 more. But more importantly, where it really comes into play is in situations where you've got folks who, for example, have had some trouble in their life. Like we've had a case where uh, I had a divorce uh, divorcee come in. Uh, this was been two, three years ago. 
uh, and she had no idea that she was eligible for this uh, spousal benefit. And, in fact, we were able to get her this spousal benefit. I've told you this story before, but it was an $1,100 benefit that just absolutely came to her at a very critical time in, in, in her life. So the fact of the matter is, here's what I want you to do. You can go to our website right now and get on there, and we've got lots of information that you can look at. But more importantly, let's you and I have a conversation to see if this will benefit you and your family. It can be an email conversation. Uh, it can be a, a quick telephone call. You don't have to come into my office, but if we determine that this is something that you can take advantage of, then maybe you will want to come in and let's sit down and, and, and go through the software program and see how many actual dollars and cents it can mean to you. My website is thewealthguardians.com, and you can email me at Doug at thewealthguardians.com. And also call us, 336-391-3409. And if you just joined us, this is the Wealth Guardian Show. My name's Doug Ray, and today we're talking about um, how very few days you have left to file for a very important Social Security benefit. This applies to you folks who are 66 years and up who have yet to file for your benefit. And it is a significant benefit. It's a benefit that could give you fifty to $100,000, $150,000, maybe more than that, in your life expectancy and Social Security benefits. You know, I've been bringing this message now, like I said, for almost four years I uh, have had KC helping me out. In fact, he, he started on a campaign for me this week where we're counting down the days that you have left. And, um, you know, I've had on this radio program, we've had Professor Lawrence Kotlikoff on. He is the nation's leading expert on, on everything to do with Social Security. And by the way, if you, uh, if you want to, you can listen to that show if you missed it. All you have to do is go to our website, uh, thewealthguardians.com, click on the radio button, and just uh, go down through the, all the radio shows there till you find the good professor and, and, uh, and take a listen to that show. I've done workshops. Of, we've had hundreds of people to our workshops. We, in fact, we're, we're working with folks right now that just came to the workshops we did in, in March where I had, uh, had my go-to expert, Hamilton Morales, in, and uh, we have helped uh, a good many folks. In fact, let me tell you a very, very interesting situation that came out of that workshop. Um, one lady came in. This was a case where, in this situation, where she had been the primary uh, earner, uh, and he uh, was a business owner, and um, in this situation, his Social Security benefit was significantly less than hers. And here's a situation that they were not aware of. They were not aware of the fact that he could actually get a spousal benefit off of his wife's Social Security benefit. So let me set the stage for you. He was 68, and she had 68 as well. So two years, um, he had filed for his own benefit and was collecting about $500. Now, her benefit was somewhere in the neighborhood of about $2,000, $2,100, her full retirement age benefit. Had they known that when he had turned 66 two years ago and she could have filed but suspended her own benefit, he then could have come in behind her and collected a spousal benefit of 50% of her benefit. It doesn't affect her benefit. But now, instead of getting about $500, he would get about $1,000 to $1,100 a month. That's a five to $600 pickup in Social Security benefit. That's a 100% increase in, in income in one just filling out an application. But they didn't know. And guess what? They've left two years' worth of income on the table. If you do the math, that's about $12,000 or more. And you can't get that back. But, as they say, you don't know what you don't know. 
right? So I implore you, again, find out. Give us a call. Email me. The number is 336-391-3409. It's 336-391-3409. Or just give me an email, Doug at TheWealthGuardians.com. I do respond to all emails. And hopefully I can get uh, an answer to you within the next uh, day or so. All right. So what, why, did, why did all this take place? I mean, why did they stop this great benefit? Well, you have heard probably that Social Security is having financial difficulties, but it's not going to run completely out of money. And, and I want you to understand that if you uh, are age 55 and older uh, right now, you're probably going to get the benefit that you see on your Social Security statement. It won't change that much for you. But the point I want to make is this. The administration did do away with this provision simply because they thought that mostly um, the the rich people, the fat cats, were ones that take advantage of it, when in fact that is absolutely not the case. Well, I shouldn't say that. Of course, some are. But I can't tell you how many regular folks I have helped get this benefit. And when we come back in the next segment, I'm going to give you some more case studies and show you how we're able to take this benefit and enter, uh, weave it into an overall um, retirement income plan. It's amazing how, how it will stretch your dollars out over uh, over the um, over the years of, of retirement. But essentially, the, the administration said, hey, we're going to do away with this, and you've got a very short period of time to take advantage of it. There was no discussion about it. All done um, kind of secretively. But again, and I want to emphasize, April 29th is coming quickly. For those of you who are 66 and older, who haven't taken your Social Security benefit yet, you need to get educated on this. April the 29th is right around the corner. Well, this is the Wealth Guardians Show. My name is Doug Ray, and you're listening on 94.5 WPTI, the Piedmont's News Talk and Sports Station. We'll be right back in just a jiffy. This is the Wealth Guardians program. My name is Doug Ray, and you're listening to 94.5 WPTI. Today, uh, this is a very, very important program. If you're 66 and older uh, and have not taken your Social Security benefits, uh, I I feel like I'm whipping the horse here, but truly, uh, I believe this is an urgent matter that many of you are overlooking. You have until April the 29th. We're already well into April the days are clicking away. You have until April the 29th to take advantage of a program that may disappear forever. And that program is a strategy that we've been using for years now to help retirees here in the triad to, to squeeze every ounce of uh, Social Security dollars, money that's rightfully yours in the first place. This is no gimmick, no trick, no... It's, not against the law now. Um, it will be after the 29th. It won't be against the law. You just won't be able to do it. Um, but it is your money, and you have a right to it. You just need to understand and know what we're talking about here. So let me give you another case study so that you can help you understand. This is a situation in my Charlotte office that developed, gosh, shortly after we started doing these Social Security uh informational uh, workshops and and radio commercials and shows. And this is kind of a typical situation where we had a uh, an engineer um and he had just re- re- uh, retired turned 66 years of age and his wife very typical she did not really have much of a work record benefit herself because she was a stay-at-home mom. And uh, long story short, Mike came in and he sat down with me and we went through his information. And he had told me he had just been down to the uh, Social Security Administration and filed. 
and uh, he was very happy to hear that he was going to be collecting about $2,400 uh, in a month, every month. And, uh, of course, he'll get the cost of living adjustments if they ever give them again. Um, and then he said something to me that it didn't quite register at the time. Um, didn't really think too much about it. He said, but, you know, out of that $2,400, i got to share it with my wife. And I said well, to myself, I said, oh, okay, it's kind of an interesting way to put it because I share my income with my wife, too. You know, in fact, she gets it and spends it. And that's kind of the way it is, right? I mean, you know, she takes care of the house and all that stuff. So I figured that's the same way it was in Mike's house. So he goes away and, and I do his Social Security report for him and he comes back in about a week and I sit down and I'm I'm happily explaining to him that yeah Mike you got your your twenty four hundred dollars and uh, and and your wife qualifies for a twelve hundred dollar spousal benefit and um, Mike has this puzzled look that comes over his face and he goes I, I don't think that's right and I said what do you mean he goes well I was told that I get twenty four hundred dollars and I got to share half of that with her and I said no wait a minute. They told you that you're getting twenty four hundred dollars, but you got to split that with your wife. And he said, "Yeah." And I said, "I think you misunderstood, or they completely told you something inaccurate." He, uh, here's what, how it goes: You're full retirement age. You have filed, but you didn't suspend. You decided to go ahead and take your benefits, so you've got a twenty four hundred dollar benefit. Now, you could have suspended and let your $2,400 grow every year at about an 8% clip, but that's okay. You decide to go ahead and take it. Now, what that does is it now makes your wife eligible for the spousal benefit because her own work record benefit is a lot less than her spousal benefit. So she is full retirement age. And she qualifies for a 50% spousal benefit off of you. It's not taking your benefit, cutting it in half, and giving it to her. She gets her own $1,200 spousal benefit. And he sat there for a minute. His mouth was wide open, could have driven a Mack truck through it. And he goes, you mean I get $2,400 and she gets $1,200? And I said, that's exactly what I mean. And he goes, do I have to go back down to the Social Security office? And I said, yeah, and this time take her with you. So immediately we found about an extra fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a year for, for Mike and his wife. And what I learned from that is so many of you, about half, have never heard of this spousal benefit. Half of you have. And I think that's a, a good... Uh, part to, to KC and I trying to educate you folks about uh, the spousal benefit. But it's there. It's there until April the 29th, at least on the restricted application status. So I know that all this sounds like gobbledygook to you. It's a lot of Social Security talk, restricted application, full retirement age, PIA, and all that stuff. You know, that's government speak. I'm going to try to make it very simple for you. What I'm going to do is I am going to get your information. I'm going to tell you what you qualify for. And then if you want, this is optional. It's not going to cost you a penny, not a penny. You're not obligating yourself to anything. I'm going to show you how I'll weave that into a written retirement income plan for you, how it will extend your assets for probably 10 or 15 years longer than it might otherwise have worked, and we're going to show you how to take this income tax efficiently. Now, that's pretty cool. So all you have to do is either call us at 336-391-3409, make an appointment to come in and sit down and let's talk about your situation. Or if you just have a few questions, if you want to call to see if you're a candidate, quite frankly, some of you are not candidates. Well, let's talk about that for a minute. Sometimes what I'll say on these shows is I'll say, if you have $100,000 or more, call us. Now, that doesn't mean I don't want to work with somebody who has $100,000 or less, 
What it simply means is this. It means that what I have found in almost four years of doing this is that if you do go on a delayed strategy so that your benefits will grow until age 70, that what that requires for most families is they're going to have to lean on their retirement assets, their their IRA monies, their 401k monies, in the first few years. So that's why I say you need to have $100,000 or more set aside. Otherwise, you may not be able to even financially do this strategy. I mean, let's face it. Some of you need the benefit as soon as you get it. But for those of you who fit the mold, and there's a bunch of you out there, believe me, trust me when I tell you this, it's going to benefit you to find out more. Don't wait till April the 29th and not be fully educated about what this may do for you. And if you just joined us, this is the Wealth Guardian Show. My name is Doug Ray, and today we've devoted the whole show to uh, to a Social Security benefit that you literally have days, simply just days left to take advantage of, and that's the file and suspend restricted application strategy for for couples who are full retirement age and and up. And um, Again, go to my website at thewealthguardians.com. There's plenty of information on there that talks about this. I've got a couple of little uh, vignettes you can you can look at. There's some white papers on there. Um, give us a call. I mean, if you have a question, if you've heard this show today and, and, and you've never heard of what I'm talking about and you have a question, um, give us a call, 336-391-3409. Uh, it only takes me a few minutes to determine whether or not this is a suitable strategy for you, but it literally will mean at least $50,000 and probably a lot more over your lifetime if you'll sit down and 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 let's talk about this situation. I, I have had several professional couples uh, to come in, and we've done this program for them and have found two hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars more in social security income um, by using this strategy. Now, the changes that went into effect, this is the big one. This is the one that has the most immediate effect. There's another one that took place. And if you're age sixty two and over by the first of January of this year, you'll have a strategy available to you until the year 2019 to do a spousal benefit option. It's kind of a reverse strategy, but it's not as powerful as the one that expires on the 29th of April, but it still is extra money in your pocket. And and as I said in the first segment, you know, folks, you you don't know what you don't know. So it's time to to determine uh, what you're eligible for and what you can get. So again, give us a a shout at 336-391-3409. All right. In the closing minutes here, I want to talk about the the divorce spousal benefit uh, because that's still available available to you. Uh, And again, this is a situation where I have found that a lot of folks have no idea that there is such an animal out there as a divorce spousal benefit. And it's important because, unfortunately, in our society, you know, a lot of marriages, I think if the number's like 50% of marriages end up in, in divorce. So if you find yourself in a situation like that, there is this uh, spousal benefit that's uh, available uh, to a divorcee. So let me kind of quickly go over the rules and give you a quick case study. About three years ago, after we first started doing these programs, I had a divorcee come in, and uh, we quickly determined that she was eligible uh, for a $1,200 a month a divorce spousal benefit that she had no idea um, about. And by the way, <clears throat> this divorce spousal benefit has absolutely no impact on the ex's benefit at all. In fact, when the divorce spouse files for the benefit, the ex will never ever know. There's no requirement that the ex needs to know. So the bottom line here is if, if you're in this situation, if, if you're divorced, 
uh, and you don't know about this uh, divorce spousal benefit, uh, again, uh, go on our website. We've got information there. It's thewealthguardians.com. It clearly explains the rules um, about the divorce spousal benefit. And uh, the biggest rule there is uh, you can't be remarried. I mean, obviously, if you remarry, you've got a new spouse and, you know, you've got a, another spousal benefit off the new spouse. So the ex is, is no longer in place, so to speak. Well, again, let me encourage you, uh, if you just tuned in, uh, April 29th is coming quick. If you're 66 years of age and older and have not filed for your benefit, find out what you may miss in just a few short days. Call us at 336-391-3409. This is The Wealth Guardians, and we'll see you next week.